Hi there, it's Andrew from Parker Adams Boat Sales with another walkthrough tour. Um, this walkthrough tour is a little bit different because I've decided to split it into two halves. Um, just behind me is an Antares 1080 and it is an absolutely beautiful example um, of this Antares 1080. It's a 2002 boat. It's powered by twin CAD 300 um, diesel, each generating 285 horsepower, which gives really, really good performance from this really sporty flybridge. And it's unusual to find a flybridge which is under 11 meters in size and what you end up with is a really really spacious boat it's a very very surprising boat and I really love it one of the reasons I wanted to split this walkthrough tour into two halves is because the condition of the hull really is fantastic and I thought it would be often a shame when people buy boats that the only time they see the underside of the boat is when it's surveyed so in this case because I got the opportunity she's going in the water today I thought I will take the chance and photograph underneath the boat as well so if we walk around the boat. The first thing that I noticed when I walked towards the boat, um, if you look down this side, I'm hoping it comes across on camera, is just the level of polish and shine um, that's evident on this boat. It really is fantastic and it's, it's almost to the point that if you thought this boat was just unboxed um, and just come out of the factory, it would look like this. It's really, really shiny. The hull is pretty much free from any marks, scratches. Um, it is, really is in beautiful condition. And then underneath the hull, let's have a little look. So we have here twin brand new five bladed bronze propellers. We've got new anodes which have gone onto the rudders. Um, the anodes haven't been replaced on the shaft because they're only about 10% um, spent. They were new, brand new in November. Um, but the other thing about the condition of the hull, you may notice it looks very, very smooth. And the reason for that is that it's been all shot blasted. So just this year, the hull has been shot blasted off. Um, it's all been primered and then re anti fouled So what you end up is a really, really nice um, base place to have the anti-fouling on. Over years, anti-fouling builds up, it starts to flake, it starts to um, look really, really tatty, and it also affects the performance of the boat. So it's really nice when we hear an owner that's taken the care to blast off all of the old anti-fouling. Whilst doing these jobs, he's also replaced the seacocks. So we've got brand new seacocks under here, which have also been anti-fouled, so they don't get weedy. And this boat really is presented in beautiful condition. You can see there's a heating vent there, and it's a very stylish looking boat. There are full camper covers on this boat, which take up the whole of the transom area, uh, which means you end up with a really, really nice big large cockpit space um, at the back. But as I've mentioned, this is a two part walkthrough tour. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back later on today once the boat is in the water and then show you guys on board. So hopefully you've enjoyed this quick walkthrough tour of the underside of the boat and I'll show you the top side a little later. Thanks as always for watching. Hi there, so it's Andrew back again and it is now the afternoon and I'm pleased to say that this Antares 1080 is now safely back in the water here in Northney Marina. And I have to say this is the first time that I've seen the boat uh, actually on the water and she looks even more impressive on the water uh, than she did off the water. Um, you can see that the top sides, the hull, have all been absolutely beautifully polished. And I have to say this is a stunning example um, of the Antares 1080. As I mentioned earlier, this is a 2002 boat. So it was laid up in 2001 and launched in 2002. Um, and the space that you get on board really is absolutely exceptional. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off on the stern of the boat and give a complete walkthrough tour showing all all of the, the features, the benefits of this boat, um, and also going through the cabins, and there's a lot of space on board this boat. I think what you'll find is that from adding the flybridge onto a 10.8 meter boat, what you end up doing is just creating so much more living space. So let's step aboard the boat. Um, the first thing to mention is the very, very wide step-on platform, which is all set to teak. Um, it's a really, really nice condition teak, um, and it's also all been oiled just today. So you can see that the teak is presented in very, very nice condition. In fact, when you step on board the boat, you can actually feel, um, or rather smell, that really nice teak oil, and it is all absolutely beautiful. In terms of seating in the back here, I think the seating that you'd have in the back here is very much down to you um, to set up 
as you wanted it. So what I mean by that is you could have a couple of director's chairs that perhaps you could put here. You do have um, a fixed two or three person seat here with a really nice custom inlaid teak table at the stern, but I think you'd really make this rear area your own. So you've got the options of having lots of space here for fishing um, or entertaining friends. I mentioned earlier that it has an all round cover, um, or all over cover rather. So this cover comes out um, across here, this hoop comes right the way back, and it is a full width cover, which really does give fantastic protection um, from the elements if you were out fishing. But equally, if you were at home in a marina, then it would really add another spacious uh, living area at the back. Um, really good size, chunky door. You can see it's all uh, laid to teak on the top there. That closes really nicely and you've got some storage space on there. You've got rod holders all the way around. And another thing that I really like is I like the way the ropes come through the wood and then have this really nice protection, which is the metal. Quite a lot of boats, they come up through here. Then actually over time, the, the um, ropes wear the wood down. So it's nice to see that that's been, been thought about and it's protected there. Let's start off by walking down the side decks. Very, very wide side decks and very good safe handholds. As we step up onto the side deck, you've got handholds here and the grab rail is at a really good height all the way around here. So very, very spacious side decks. On the front, um, you don't have sun pad cushions, but you could certainly add them onto this and that would give a really nice additional area um, for sunbathing if you wanted to. But all around on the front here, you have an electric windlass control that drops down into that anchor. You've got a keep on the anchor and you've got some fender baskets on either side, which is nice to see, and a ventilation hatch there for the main cabin. You've got two windscreens, you've got two wipers, one for each side, and you can see even on this hard to reach part at the top here, it's all been polished um, and very, very nicely presented. So let's walk back down, two steps, and we're back into the cockpit area. So let's start off by going inside. The saloon is really, really spacious and it is beautifully appointed. The upholstery is all in excellent condition. There's no rips, no marks, no tears. And the rest of the boat is just as pristine. So if we walk forward and then look back, that's probably the best, best angle for there. So it's a U-shaped seating area. And then you also have this really nice um, cooking area here. Now the hob is a three burner Dometic hob. Um, it's actually never been used. And the, the oven, just here, has also never been used. Dometic fridge, just in here, you've guessed it, never been used. So this boat has been upgraded um, recently and it's got some really nice things that have actually just never ever been used. The boat feels much, much newer than 2002, uh, which is a great benefit. And it's a real testament to the owner of the condition that this boat is presented in. You've got cupboard space all the way along the sides here. A nice little design. It's just um, finger hold, push that through and it automatically releases a catch, uh, which opens the cupboard. It's a simple design, but I like that. It's very easy to use. And then you've got good locker space all the way across here. So each one of these is spacious lockers. And then down on the bottom here, you've got another large storage cupboard in there. And then you've got the sink unit just down there. So if we keep walking through, another nice thing about this boat is that the electronics have all been updated. So this is a really nice size Raymarine. It's an Axiom 12 Pro, so a very expensive Raymarine plotter. You've got autopilot fitted to this boat. You can see here just reading a, a um, standard degree of 213, but moving slightly so the flux gate is working nicely. You've got two controls, and of course you've got two sets of dials for these KAMD 300 engines. So 285 horsepower each. Um, and across onto this side, I've put that, there. actually just a dust cover, just to confuse you. There's a fusion radio, which is a full Bluetooth radio that's just up there. And you have a television just there as well. Underneath this space here, you have a space for your charts. And then if you're sitting here when you're under passage, you've got a nice grab handle there. So if the weather were to get a little bit inclement, you've got a good handhold there for your passengers. This boat, as you can see from the vents in front, is fitted with um, an auto-term warm air heater. So a really nice system and that heats the cabin, but also blows out hot air here to demist the windows during the winter as well, which is a nice feature and quite often uh, forgotten about on boats. If we step down into the cabin space, it's quite a steep set of stairs, but what that gives you then is really, really good headroom. So as we move around, I'm about five foot 10 and you can see you've got probably a good 
eight, eight, nine inches of space above you. So lots of space there. We'll start off in the guest cabin. The guest cabin is all presented very, very nicely. It's fairly dark in here. Uh, perhaps the better word to call that is cozy. You've got two lights at the back and two single beds. You've got a good sized locker space, uh, sorry, wardrobe space, which keeps an infill cushion just there. And then the main bedroom is huge. You've got a really good width bed. I think that must be about six foot across and then easily six foot long. So a really good amount of space there in the bedroom. You've got a full locker space here, controls for the, um, the warm air heating. You've got light switches. You've got two portholes, one on either side. And of course, you've got this nice porthole above, which gets that nice fresh air coming in together with an ocean air blind that can just be used to close that up um, if you want to have a little bit more privacy in the evening. Um, the head is a Jack and Jill head, so you've got access through this cabin into this space here. And what's really nice is it's separated into a, a loo area and a shower area. So if I close that up, you've got this good size area here, which has got a built-in sink, mirror, lots of vanitary space. Then if I step into here, you've then got a completely enclosed off shower um, room where you can also stand here. So you've got full headroom height in the shower, or you could sit down on the top, well, basically on top of the loo there. Um, you've got a shower curtain that would just pull across so that would keep all of the water um, into this area and keep this area a little bit drier. But this is a draining area as well. So you can see the drain hole at the bottom there. So let's close that up and walk back through again. The feeling on this boat really is spacious and for just over a 10 meter boat it has a really good feel to it. Lots of nice features. I love the fact that the um, electronics have been updated, you've got television built in and all the upholstery has been refreshed in the last couple of years so it's all presented in really really nice condition. So we've come back out now into this deck area and I'll go up above onto the flybridge. Now the flybridge is relatively small on this but you have enough space, I would say, up here for five people, certainly four or five people. So as we come up here, you have a fantastic view all the way over here over Northney Marina. Um, the boat is updated with Quantum 2 Raymarine equipment. So not only have you got an Axiom 12 Pro down below, you've got another Axiom plotter at the top here, and you've got this Quantum 2 um, radar. You've got a sunbed at the top, so it doubles up as a sunbed, but also seating for two or three people there. You've got your EDC controls for your 300 CAD 300 engines, and then you've got a helm and a co-pilot seat as well. So it's not the largest flybridge space, but there's certainly enough space up here for four or five people and gives a very, very good view over the boat. One thing I've noticed is the way that they've managed to get a lot of the spaciousness on this boat is because the width of the boat carries on a long, long way forward. So if you look forward, you can see that it's quite a blunt bow on this. So it has a lot of accommodation all the way forward. And that's why I think that when you're down below, this boat feels much, much bigger um, than the 10.8 meters might suggest. So if I head back downstairs again now, it is a ladder. The ladder has got a good handhold, so some people prefer to have stairs. Actually, the ladders, particularly when you're at sea and you've got good handholds, it's still really nice and easy to get back up there. I'm going to come back off the boat and have another look from the side. I think it's a very, very pretty boat. I would describe this boat as a you know, really nice sport fishing family cruiser, and I really like it. It's certainly got a very, very nice feel to it. So we'll spin the camera just back round again. So all that's left to say is thank you once again for watching another Park Adams Boat Sales video. Um, please remember to like and subscribe to our channel. Um, it's always a pleasure to bring you um, beautiful boats like this. And um, yeah, we look forward to seeing you on the next video. I'll just close off with a little pan down the side of this beautiful Beneteau Antares 1080.